we're back on the roof. This unit right here is not heating. We got a no heat call on it. Thermostat is calling, but I'm not getting any heat. Uh, had to figure out which one it was. I thought it was that one originally, but turns out it's this one. So a nice, quick, easy way of doing it is uh, you take the batteries out of the thermostat if it's powered by RNC, uh, and then you kill the power. And if the screen goes blank, you know that's the one. And then uh, when I go back down there, I'm gonna label it on the back of the thermostat. That way the next guy knows. So anyway, we're getting a call for heat. Inducer came on. So it's warm. So let's see what's going on. So here we go. Okay, well I'm getting heat. So I'm wondering if the blower motor is running. <laughs> yeah, it's not running. Looks like it's jammed. All right, so I've cut the power. Let's see. Uh, motor's hot. So what's going on here? Ooh, it's really hot. Oh, the lower wheel bro fell off. Bro. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we're gonna put the camera under and see if it broke off. I'm really hoping it slipped off, so we'll take a look at this footage that you've already seen. Well, total bummer. It looks like the uh, hub broke off the wheel, so we're going to have to change out the whole wheel. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. This this looks like it's going to be a pain to pull this whole thing out, so good times. But anyway, uh, we found a problem, so, uh, yeah. yeah. Now, the next thing is, is I want to know if this motor still works or not. I can't tell. I mean, it's really hot. So, uh, I might just bring a, a motor. I'll bring another motor. Yeah, because this motor looks like it hasn't been replaced too long ago. Okay, we're back. We got our blower motor, our capacitor, and our wheel. So, let's go change it out. Best roof access ever. Yes, it's snowing. Okay, it's not too deep. Ugh. Alrighty, so. Okay, the snow's not so bad. I brought my shovel up here in case I had to do some shoveling. So that's, there's our culprit right there. So I'm gonna get set up and then uh, we'll get on it. Okay, so I, I got my little shovel here. So I use that to shovel all the snow out of the way. And that's where my work spot, that's to try to prevent some of the snow from getting into the unit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the blower out and I'm gonna take it to that little room that I was in when I started this. And then that's where I'm gonna install the motor and everything. And then I'll come back out here and just pop the motor back in there and should be good to go. So we're gonna see how difficult this is to install. So here we go. Okay, so I got the wires disconnected. So I think it's these two screws here, and then I think it should just slide out. I'm gonna unplug all these Molex plugs, and then what I wanna do is I'm gonna pick it up out of the, whatever was holding that in place, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it so this part comes out first, and then bring it out. That's the plan, so we'll see if that actually works out or not. Okay, so two screws there, and there's three bolts up in here. There's one there. These look like they're three-eighths. There's one down there. Yeah. And there's uh, one right there. One right there. And then one down there. So I gotta get those out. Okay, so we're in a nice warm little room. So I'm gonna be switching the motor and the wheel in here. So I've actually had to take off my jacket and stuff because it's kind of warm in here, which is nice. Uh, this so yeah, that's the damage. See, the hub's completely ripped off of the blower wheel. So, um, I don't know if this motor's good or not, um, but I, we're gonna put in a new motor anyway. Uh, customer decided they just wanna change the motor because we were like, well, there's a chance that the motor might not work. Then we'll have to pull it out and do it all over again. So they just said, just go ahead and change the motor. So, um, 
First things first, we need to free up that hub, get the hub off of the uh, motor shaft, and then we'll pull the motor, pop in the new motor, pop in the new wheel, and then go from there. All right, well, we got our hub off. So yeah, look at that, just shear completely off of the actual wheel. And then these set screws, I'm gonna save those because just in case I ever lose one, I have backups. Anytime I change a wheel, I always steal the uh, set screws just so I have emergency backups just in case because I've dropped some of these and lost them. So it's nice to have them on you just in case. So anyway, now that I got that out, now I gotta figure out how to take this wheel out. So uh, we're gonna do that next. Okay, so we got our blower motor out. And shaft spins. So what I always do is I always take a picture of the schematic just in case I need it. Because once it's on there, uh, you know, once you put the belly band, it's going to probably be blocked. So it's always good to just take a picture of it just so you have access to it just in case you forgot or you need to check something. So yeah, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so one thing about these universal motors is they'll usually have these screws right here that are sticking out. See it? And they're going to be in the way, so we need to cut them off. So you can either use a sawzaw, a saw, but what I like to do so I don't have to do that is I just use my little crescent, uh, my little crescent wrench here, or adjustable box wrench. This is actually, I think this is a crescent. Yeah, it's an actual crescent. Crescent. So I can call this a crescent wrench. As you can see, it snaps right off. Just bend it back and forth, and it snaps right off. We'll do this one here. And it snaps right off. So that's a quick, easy way so you don't have to go and get your saw. And you can do this on condenser fan motors too, if they have them. So yeah. Okay, so I've looked at our schematic. Um, there it is right there. So as you can see, uh, brown to orange and orange to yellow, or I'm sorry, purple to yellow, that's going to be counterclockwise, so we need to swap them. Okay, uh, so we're going to go ahead and try to get this back in there. And I, I found out that this has actually been done before. Uh, that's why that's all smashed up. And honestly, there's really no way to avoid doing that, because just this is just a stupid design, the way they did this. It's just so stupid. Um, I think this is a York, so thanks, York. Anyway, um, yeah, I know. I know, you, I'm, I know you're gonna say it in the comments. Oh, you smashed up that coil. Okay, it was already like that when I got here because this is actually the second time that this wheel's hub has sheared off. Um, so yeah, so I'm not the first one to do this. But yeah, really there's no way to avoid that. So anyway, we're gonna try to pop it in and try that to make that worse, so yep. Okay, so I got my neck mount on. So, you can see what a pain in the butt this is. Ugh. I don't know how the angle is going to be, but hopefully it's good. So, what I need to do is I need to get this side in there first, right? And then just go whoop. So, and it's easier said than done because you got all these wires in the way. And honestly, I just don't see any way to not hit that coil. So, I'm going to try my best not to, but no promises. course this gas line's right in the way okay so I kind of got it in there now hmm now I need to get these wires around this okay now trying to get the wires around it and Okay, now we're turning it. Uh, trying to turn it. <clears throat> All right. It's in there. Oh, let's see, do we have anything for this to sit on? Nope. All right. So, 
there's nothing to hold this thing up. That's awesome. So basically I got to put the screws in through here uh, to hold that up and then screw it together. Man, this is a stupid design. This is the stupidest blower ever. All right, well, anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining and get this over and done with. Oh my goodness, we got it in there. So now we just gotta wire it up. So I'm gonna do that. All right, we're calling for fan at the thermostat. So here we go. All right. Now, I wanna make sure it's blowing the right way. All right, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and kick on the heat and uh, call her a day. Alrighty, she's back up and running. She's heating again. So anyway, uh, that's how you uh, fix uh, one of these pieces of junks. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification, which is somewhere around here. Uh, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.